Today we need to get into hype requesting the military take action over something that they did. We need to get into a video that allegedly shows Jimin in severe pain during the gas chamber. And then we have people saying that Jimin might be injuring himself trending. So you dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, taste spilling book merch, and let's go. There was a video of Jimin during a live stream not too long ago, and people have a lot of thoughts and opinions on it right now. But before we talk about this video, I need to get into why this is being brought up now and what happened in that previous moment. As we know, the boys are enlisted, so naturally there are a lot of people who miss Jimin and want to see more of Jimin. They opt for re-watching and re-experiencing a lot of the old moments. This includes things like older performances, older reality shows, and live streams, which I never understood. Because would people do this at least to this mass scale if Jimin never told anyone he was enlisting? We would still think he's here and thus we wouldn't feel the need to re-watch things. And are we just re-watching because we feel like he's gone rather than an actual lack of content from him? I don't know if that makes any sense. Of course, there is a lack of content, but would we feel that way if he was not enlisted? People were watching Jimin's old live streams and there was a moment on the stream when Jimin cracked his neck. And if you go and find this moment, it's not a subtle crack. It's a full-blown neck crack. It's very loud. People were thinking and saying that if they cracked their neck at this level, this would cause them to die. And likely, I don't think my neck actually ever could make that sound unless you kill me. However, I think it's interesting, not just for this scenario, but any scenario to talk about how BTS members are very different from the average person. They dance and exercise so frequently and so vigorously that things like muscle and tension do happen and happen at a much bigger scale. The fact that Jimin and other BTS members could have a lot of tension on their neck, this can cause neck cracking and those things. People were worried if this is something that could hurt or injure him. The answer is likely no. Of course, I am no doctor and his situation could be very different from other people with the same issue, but it's due to pressure buildup and when you crack it, that pressure turns into gas and then gets released, which is why you hear that loud sound. It's not typically harmful, but having the need to do it or doing it often can cause things like arthritis and other things. Of course, having the tension built there is not great to keep it there either, and this is why I often say that as you get older, they're not going to be able to perform and do the things that they did in the past. And this is why I often say as they get older, they're not going to be able to perform and do the things that they did in the past because they could get arthritis. I mean, a lot of us are at risk of that and we don't even have jobs that require a vigorous training. Also a reason why I felt like the boys should have gotten exempt from the military, but that is another story. Jimmy will be fine and this is just something that a lot of people in his position go through. And yes, that includes possible health issues. This is why they get paid millions of dollars. People like to say it's unfair for celebrities or people who are at the top to make the money that they do, but oftentimes it comes at the expense of a severe lifestyle change, never spending time with friends and family, and the cost of their health. However, BTS members efforts have always been worth it because the boys have very much been very successful. And if you would like to join us Dumplings in reacting to find out BTS successful moments on Patreon, make sure you go to the top of the description and check out the link there. We currently have some limited spots for a $1 tier, but they are currently open, so I hope to see you there. Now, the military has actually been in a bit of hot water lately as Hype sent a very urgent request to fix an issue, and I find this very interesting. There's been some alleged drama between the camp app, which is the military app, in which we can monitor anyone that is currently enlisting there, and Hive. Hive had previously requested that any BTS content be removed from the app. Apparently, there was a section that allowed for either people or staff to create these forum pages using BTS's name. So I guess the point was to create a space where armies could come together and fangirl. And while this is okay to do on Facebook or X, it's not okay to do on an app like the camp. Because I feel like most people think that the camp is an official app, so any content that is on there would be official content. However, users and staff creating forums to talk about BTS are not official forums, but then could be interpreted as official. And what if the forums accidentally post something that is not what BTS stands for? It's suddenly a scandal. So in an attempt to fix that, Hive asked for that stuff to be removed. Armies were happy to have that removed, not necessarily for the reason I mentioned, 
but happy for it to be removed because they believe that the app was trying to make money off of BTS or trying to use BTS for clout. Hive ultimately not only had those forum things removed, but also apparently filed a legal complaint to do so. BTS was also taken off their celebrity section of the app. This caused a lot of confusion and the CEO came out to talk about this. They said that the app aimed to foster a community where people could join and keep up with their favorite idols, as well as friends and family that might have enlisted. It was believed that the app's purpose was just for that and they were allegedly planning on monetizing, but probably just through ads and just enough money to keep the app running and paying the developers, as opposed to making a huge profit. The CEO somewhat hinted towards that idea and then went ahead and talked about not wanting to cause more confusion or cause more issues, so instead decided to go ahead and remove these sections about BTS. I don't know who is right or wrong in the situation, and just because the app went ahead and removed the content does not mean that they were necessarily in the wrong, because they could just be doing it to avoid further conflict. I do believe that Hype going ahead and requesting the content removed is okay, but the app also consists of other idols too, and those idols have remained on there, not really being afraid of IP issues, so should BTS members be scared of such things? I don't know. And for those armies rejoicing, is it something that we should be doing? Because I would be sad not to see more updates from BTS members anymore, or maybe less updates. However, regardless of that, it seems soldiers or maybe staff are still posting things because it seems like things do still get out. I just don't know how legit those things are. So what got out and what happened? There was a TikTok video that went viral recently of some people in the gas chamber. Now, first off, I didn't even know it was possible to have a phone or a camera in the gas chamber to be recording. I would also imagine most people would object to being recorded while they're in pain. So I very much question if this is a real video. But one of the people that is being recorded looks a lot like Jimin, and this is probably why people think it is and why it's going viral. We see this alleged Jimin literally shaking in pain from the gas chamber and then also falling to the ground and almost collapsing. It shows the alleged Jimin in literal pain, and then at the end it showed that person finally getting up and finishing. There's a few things that tell me that this clip that we see is not Jimin and not the gas chamber. Because first off, the specific gas chamber that you do in the training is tear gas. In no world is tear gas so painful to the point where you'd be shaking and falling to the ground, at least to my knowledge. If you have enlisted and it's been very painful, please let me know. But I feel from what I've read and even some of the messages I've gotten from you guys, it's not a super painful thing. It's not comfortable, but not looking like they're almost dying. Also, I believe the specific gas chamber in question is also one where the soldiers will need to take their masks off for a short period of time, which in the video we don't ever see happen. This likely was something else, and the person we see in the video was likely not Jimin, as there probably was a reason why the mask being eventually removed was never shown. It was someone that from just the eyes can appear like Jimin, but then probably was someone else, a TV show or whatever and then used to make it seem like Jimin is either weak or in a lot of pain. And not to say that if you do react to this in a gas chamber, you're weak, but that's exactly what the netizens online like to say. They like to say that Jimin is so weak and suffers through the military training a lot, when in reality he is okay and probably is doing extremely well in the service. We can gauge just how strong Jimin is over the fact that after such a vigorous training during his career, that Jimin wouldn't react in such a way with any of the training that is given to him during the military. Anything that he has done in his career is likely equal to the amount of pain and hardship he is going through now. And I don't like the narrative that says otherwise, because people love to bring down the amount of work a celebrity does, but very few people have ever actually done it. And among those few people, each one of them says it's hard. But if it was any other career, we'd agree that it's hard because they make millions of dollars, suddenly it's not considered hard anymore. Doesn't make sense to me. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check on Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for the comments right here. Love you. Bye.